So far, what we know about the new update in Empires and Puzzles is Mystic Vision. I've discussed Mystic Vision in a previous video, if you haven't watched it, I've put a link in the video description. The latest update regarding Mystic Vision has been confirmed by the developer, where they are conducting tests from February 5th to 19th. It's just that there are quite significant changes, where Legendary Mystic Vision can only be accessed once every 7 days, Rare Mystic Vision can only be accessed once every 3 days, and Common Mystic Vision can be accessed 3 times every 2 hours. Apart from that, there are no changes to the rewards and types of Mystic Vision. Judging from this, as a player I am quite disappointed with the very significant change in duration, and I think almost all players also agree with that. And the second most recent update is Dominion of Dragons. Where the developer shows that in Dominion of Dragons there are several farming buildings that generate resources in the form of dragon crystals and food, which will most likely be used to upgrade buildings, research, craft and train dragon heroes. Next, there is a building for crafting items and hero training, whose function will most likely be similar to the one in the classic base. And next, we are shown that there is a campaign mode, which mechanically will be very similar to the classic based campaign, and the only difference is the hero, in this campaign we use dragons. And finally, we are shown the dragon summon portal, where just like the summon portal in the classic base we can see dragon heroes which are featured from rare to legendary, here we can conclude that later we can summon dragons and will use them both in campaigns and raids. From this latest update we can see that Dominion of Dragons is in the development stage, and will most likely be released soon, perhaps we will get it at the end of March or April, but this is still an estimate and there has been no official statement from the developer. But what do you think about this latest update? Please comment in the comments section below. And the last update is a list of heroes in Faded Summons. As before, the next Faded Summon will be available in March, here are the heroes that will be featured where the first row is classic heroes such as Otzler, Catelyn, Magni, Justice, and Obakin. The second row, Hero of the Month, such as Ares, Alberic, Athena, Musashi, and Thothamun. Third row, heroes from the challenge events such as Captain Kestrel, Lady Locke, King Arthur, Guinevere, and Guardian Panther. And the fourth row is seasonal heroes, such as Santa Claus, Mother North, Master Lepus, Rana, and Victor. Judging from the heroes featured on this list, I feel that without costumes, they are all too old, so the heroes I most recommend swapping are Guardian Panther, Athena, and Mother North. Apart from that, I don't think they're that relevant anymore. But what do you think? Please comment below. So that was the latest update of what we already know or will get in the future, I think there will still be lots of sneak peeks that will be shown by the developer, some of which are the birthday event, time saver VIP pack, and maybe also upcoming soul exchange event. If you have questions or additional explanations from our previous discussion, feel free to express your opinion in the comments section below. And we will meet again in the next Empires and Puzzles video, bye!